So in the Nevada primary today, more Nevada voters actually so selected the option, none of these candidates, than the voters that actually selected Nikki Haley. How embarrassing. And not just a few more voters. No, no, no. Almost double the amount of people went into the ballot box and selected none than actually voted for Nikki Haley. How incredibly embarrassing for Nikki, but not near as embarrassing as it's going to be in just a few weeks when she loses her own home state of South Carolina to President Trump by almost double digits. Nikki, it's time to get out of the race. The American people are trying to tell you it's past time to get out of the race. And tonight, the Nevada voters told you to get out. All right, folks, good morning. I doubt many of you will be awake when we post this video, but I figure it'll be a great thing to wake up to. You know, when you're headed to work, you're headed to school, maybe it's been a rough week for you so far. So I want you to know that however bad it is right now in your life, you did not have it as bad as Nikki Neocon Haley ha had it last night in the Nevada Republican primary. Because folks, I'm here to report to you that last night, Nikki Haley lost the state of Nevada to nobody. And I know what you're saying, Vince, what do you mean she lost to nobody? No, no, no. Surely you mean she lost to Donald Trump, right? That's what you meant to say. No, that's not what I meant to say. I was deliberate in my language. She lost to nobody, to nothing, zilch, air. She lost to oxygen. Okay, this is exactly what I mean. This video is not clickbait. It's not satire because folks, take a look with 83% of the votes in at these results for yourself. Last night in the Nevada primary, we got none of these candidates. Yes, quote unquote, None of these candidates beating Nikki Haley by a margin of 62.9% to 30.8%. So in other words, she lost to nobody by over 30 points. And I know surely you're saying, what the heck? How exactly is that possible? What happened last night? Well, long story short, uh, this week, Nevada will be doing both a primary and a caucus. I don't know why they do it this way, but they have a primary where people basically just show up to vote and then they have a caucus where they actually vote on the delegates, right? So that's the election on Thursday, and maybe we'll stream that. That actually matters in relation to the RNC and winning the Republican nomination. So in other words, this was a meaningless election. Donald Trump, I guess you can appear on both of these ballots. Donald Trump opted to not appear on the primary ballot and only decided to appear on the caucus ballot, which I guess is smart because it's the only ballot that actually matters, right? So Nikki Haley, who is not going to be on the Nevada caucus ballot, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think she even qualified for it, tried to show up to the Nevada primary instead, right? Even though it's meaningless, I guess she was trying to win a moral victory, right? Hey, Nikki Haley won a state, right? That would be news to someone. Now, the media would report that even though Donald Trump was not even on the ballot, but still Nikki Haley, she loves to lie. She loves to go around gaslighting. You could totally see the scenario where she shows up and says, folks, we won the Nevada, the Nevada primary without any of the context. So this is the ballot that showed up last night because again, Donald Trump was not even on it. We had Nikki Haley, Mike Pence, Tim Scott, a bunch of random candidates, and none of these candidates, right? Literally none of the above. And Nikki Haley was hoping, well, all of Trump's people <laughs> are going to show up on Thursday. This one should be easy for us, right? No, folks, she couldn't even get the moral victory because quote unquote, none of these candidates destroyed Nikki Haley. OK, even when Trump's people weren't even showing up, even when this was supposed to be her easy path, hey, she'll steal the state, even though it doesn't matter for the delegates. Nope, nope. <laughs> the Nevada electorate had other ideas. She is so unpopular in Nevada. I think she's been polling at under 10 percent uh, in the aggregate polls against Donald Trump. So unpopular that she couldn't even win a primary when she was basically more or less the only person on the ballot, okay? The conservatives of Nevada apparently despised neocon Nikki so much that they would rather vote for none of the above than Nikki Haley. Okay, so that is absolutely a true story. It's pretty hilarious. And by the way, let me say, it is 
totally discrediting. I mean, Nikki Haley, she's still going out here claiming we have a path to victory. She said after New Hampshire, which she lost, by the way. You know, she does this every single time uh, she goes out and claims that she won, even though she lost. And then she said, well, we still have a path to victory. Trust the plan. Here's how we're going to do it. We're just getting started. Folks, someone please explain to me how exactly you can come back from this. OK, it's one thing to lose to Donald Trump. It's, it's another thing to lose to none of the above. OK, I know that guy, his name is none of the above. He's a force of political energy and all that stuff. But, it, you know, that's still pretty embarrassing to lose to literally nobody. OK, it should be totally discrediting. If it, if it wasn't discrediting before that everyone knows Nikki Haley's not going to win and she's wasting everyone's time here. I mean, that should really tell you everything you need to know that she can't even win an uncontested <laughs> primary ballot. OK. <laughs> Folks, it is just, just too ridiculous. Oh, dear. Although, you know, I, I'm sure I can fully expect that the Nikki Haley campaign's going to spin it, okay? Because you know what they're going to go out there and say? Watch this. They're going to say, nobody beat Nikki Haley in Nevada, right? So you're, you're thinking to yourself, oh, so Nikki Haley won Nevada. No, no, no. Nobody beat Nikki Haley, as in Nikki Haley lost <laughs> to nobody, okay? So there was the Nevada Republican primary. Really quickly, I will point out that there was also a Democrat primary last night, and I guess this is not exactly surprising at all. Uh, Joe Biden in basically swept this. He got close to 90% of the vote. Uh, none of these, so none of the above, I guess, was running on both candidates, both tickets. Okay, both the Democrat ticket, you know, and the Republican ticket. He truly is a political force. I mean, look, he won the Republican Party, but nobody also actually came in second place. So he came in second place with 5.8%. Marianne Williamson got 29 I guess that Dean Phillips did not even qualify and, uh, you know, I'm looking for Chank Uyghur on this ballot. I don't see him. OK, so I'm sure truly, uh, you know, it, this Democrat primary was likely stolen from Chank. It wasn't reasonable. They weren't reasonable. OK, so, you know, definitely not because he's not a natural born citizen. It was stolen. OK, but yeah, those are the results, ladies and gentlemen, from the Democrat Nevada presidential primary. Nothing much to say other than it does seem to me that. I mean, it, it was obvious, honestly, for a couple months now, but clearly, I think the Democrats are actually going to be riding with Biden into November. I know there's still speculation to this very minute about Gavin Newsom or Michelle Obama or someone. And don't get me wrong, I guess they could maybe try to do a play after the convention where, you know, Biden does, develops a mysterious illness and has to drop out of the race. But if that's the case, I don't I think the Democrat Party, I mean, I know they don't have standards. I know they don't really care, but they're going to have to have a very difficult time trying to justify putting Gavin or someone else in there instead of Kamala. Because you would think if, you know, if it's if De if Biden wins the Democrat nomination and they try to do a coup or, you know, they, they take him out mysteriously, wouldn't the sitting vice president secede him next? And in the case that that happens, of course, right, Kamala Harris is even more unpopular than Biden. That would totally negate the idea that Biden is unelectable. So, you know, that that path to me, yes, it is possible. I wouldn't put it past the Democratic Party and their antics, but I don't necessarily see that being uh, the most likely of things. Whereas if someone's going to step in right now and challenge Biden, it would have had to happen like yesterday, right? Because now we're getting into these states, even if Gavin Newsom announced next week, he still might not have the time or the momentum or the funds to mount a serious challenge to Biden. And when you hear him talk, it doesn't sound like that's what he's going to do either. He's, you know, actually speaking pretty high praise of Biden at the moment, even though, you know, he's kind of sitting there waiting in the wings. So it does seem, folks at the very least, that Biden is actually going to be the nominee. This is another result that confirms that. And I guess in many ways, that's good for us because Biden will have incumbent advantage, obviously, going into the election. But we know how unpopular he is. 
I don't have to spell that out for you, right? He's not a very popular president. He has, I believe, a 38 or 36% approval rating. That's not good, okay? So on to November very soon after we get rid of these joke uncontested primaries. But yeah, big story of this video, Nikki Haley loses to nobody. You love to see it, okay? You love to see it. With that said, folks, let me know your thoughts on all of this in the comment section down below. Are, are you shocked? Okay, because Nikki Haley thought she could win this. Okay, a lot of people did, actually. And instead, she loses by 30 to no one. Let me know what you think of that in the comment section down below. Be sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And until next time, alpha moves only. God bless. Have a very good day. Nobody! Let's go nobody! <laughs> and peace.